This video is called Ray's Right Angle Magnetics. I'm going to remove this static field caused by the magnet pack. And we see that the motor stops. It's just not quite enough that it runs. I set that intentionally. You can see it's using 0.1 amp at 1.7 volt. It is said that you cannot take any active dynamic power out of a static field. But we see here that there is something going on. My pet project is over unity effects. This should not be happening by conventional magnetism. You can see that we're actually another uh, uh, point is that it's using less amps. We'll go up to 9 and 10 when it's stalled out. So this is So we're using less amperage, so this is another point that uh, there is an effect going on here. And we'll go into the science behind this, okay? I pointed out the video is called Right Angle Magnetics. Two sets of magnets set at right angles, the unlike poles repel. To enhance the effect, the stator is made into a monopole by attaching a metal bar at its end, thus lengthening that field. So, one of the differences are conventional magnetics, unlike poles, attract, but here they repel. I'll show this effect here. I'll remove the magnetics pack. And it stops. Put it back. And we'll start her up again. Okay. I'll turn this off. So there's no power being put into the system at all. And we'll see that as this is a south pole, this is a north pole, by conventional magnetics they should hold together. And you see it, it pushes it down. I call it a shotgun effect. We remove it. see that doesn't happen there's no shotgun effect put them down there see there's nothing of any value just a little bit of the weight just back together we'll see that the unlike poles are actually repelling bring it up there uh, another thing is also lifting just slightly and if you lift remove that see how it goes down so it does have a lifting effect but it does not uh, hold hold there and, and uh, instead it just like a shotgun so let's start her up again so that's the verify that two sets of magnets set at right angles. This field is coming this way. And this field <coughs> is coming this way. Right angles. This makes a very unique effect. We experience a force, pushing, repelling, and also a little bit of a lift.
this is further illustrated. The when a used as a magnetic monopole, the magnetic pole will shift dramatically. Okay, let's go ahead and explain that part and show that. I have a north north pole. I think that's maybe need to be shifted just a little bit. You can see that the north pole is straight on. When we put the north pole face on to the bar of metal, this is a monopole draws out that field. Now, instead of the North Pole, see how it's pointing out that direction. It's not pointing at the magnet center. It has shifted outward towards that bar. So the magnetic field has been shifted to this point over here. I call this a shotgun effect. It causes a solenoid effect also. You can see here if you have both the stator and the, uh, the moving arm, both of them into a monopole effect, they will actually push against each other. These are unlike poles, but in this design, they, they actually repel each other. And that causes this shotgun effect. And this is what's causing that motor to run. lifts it up and shoots it forward. I want to further illustrate this. Yeah. Well, I have two magnets and they're unlike poles, they will attract when they're in line. Also, I call this offline design also. You see that this is one level, this is a second level. They're offline, they're not centered together. Okay? But so, but if they're in line, they attract. And also, if you try to pull that away from it, it pulls it back. Let's see how it pulls it back. So it's locking both directions. It's locking there and it's locking sideways. But when you put them in an offline situation at right angles, if you can do this experimentally, you'll, you'll feel a force going to the side. Instead of pulling up, it, if you keep the distance, you have to get a couple inches. If you get too close, then uh, that close interaction will take effect. Uh, the first story level of magnetics is uh, basic conventional magnetics. But if you get into a distance away, which I call the second level magnetics, then a different set of rules start applying and uh, instead of pulling, you, you can feel a little bit of a push instead of a pull. That's what this is based on.
and that was the explanation for this here, this page. Normally, two unlike poles attract, also resist lateral movement. This system has, as a whole, has no gain. Even though great force brings them together, the same uh, amount is needed to pull them apart, no gain. But this is where this system does not have that because the, the shifting of the magnetic field, for one reason, lets it, lets it uh, go laterally a lot easier without much, uh, much force. So you're gaining there, it doesn't lock in. So your shifted magnetic field aids in this operation as well as the right angled magnetic. I would go ahead and maybe write down some of these notes. Uh, I haven't seen them anywhere, and of course they're not in a conventional book at all. These are just things that I found, and uh, they seem to test out in the uh, lab situation. So I feel that they're pretty valid. And then also with this working uh, as as it is, uh, normally. A static field should not be able to produce any any effect. It's uh, conventional magnetics. Uh, you know, it pulls in, but you have to pull apart the same amount of energy. But this, because it's set up differently for uh, two levels of magnetics and also right angles uh, magnetics, those two principles are working to bring this effect together and it can be scientifically tested if you want to build this. Uh, depending on the strength of your magnets, you should have a two to five inch gap uh, for this to work. This will work without the metal on this one, but it just doesn't work as effectively. It's nice to have that monopole effect have a little bit of a shotgun effect on this this part and then also this is a uh, working as a shotgun effect too as a solenoid effect they do not lock in like conventional magnets they come together and the same amount of force has to be used to do anything with them this one does not do that as explained earlier This is a little DC motor here I got out of a uh, VCR, 12 volt, and uh, I put a little arm on it. This is some of the dimensions and how that, that works there, how it puts together. Uh, the rotor arm is about an inch, and in this position, then I put the, the uh, center part about halfway. And then this arm's about the same length. And then I put the magnet over there. Okay. Well, thank you so much for uh, watching this. Just in re recap a little bit, you can see the amount of energy. Just about, not quite three tenths of a of an amp. Uh, this is eight. Uh, without this running, it's about 10, 10, uh, 0.1 amp or 10 million or 100 million. So with this working, it's almost down to 70 milliamps. So just almost a third less. Not, not quite, but I mean, there, there is a noticeable uh, difference in the power that's used with this static force, which shouldn't work <laughs> and uh, without it so that's one validation for myself there may be other reasons this is doing all this stuff but uh, as I tested all this it seems to work as the principles that I went through were involved I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time happy inventing